Alhamdulillah, 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 Rabbil Alamin. Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Nahmadullah ta'ala, wa nastaghfir wa shuruan, la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah. Nashadu anna sayyidina Muhammadan abduhu wa habibuhu wa rasuluh. Sallallahu alihi wa ala alihi wa azwajihi wa sahbihi tabi khulafa wa rahshin mahalin min ba'di. Wa zirwa mati ala tahkik, wa huzza miha mati khulafa rasulah ala tahkik, umar al-mu'minin. Hazrat Abu Bakar wa Umar Usman wa Ali wa ala baqi tabi'in tabi'in ridan Allah ta'ala alayhim ajma'in ya ayuhal mu'minul hazirun itaqullaha ta'ala wa ati'in Allah amal ladhina taqawal ladhina hum muhsinun alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil anbiya wa mursalin sayyidina maulana muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in All praises are due to Allah, Lord of the universes who has said in the Holy Quran, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Ha, Meen, by the book that make things clear. We sent it down during a blessed night, for we are ever warning. On that night is made distinct every precise matter by command from our presence. Indeed, we are ever sending a mercy from your Lord. Indeed, He is the hearing, the knowing, the Lord of the heavens and the earth and all that is between them, if you would be certain. There is no Allah except Him. It is He who gives life and gives death, your Lord and the Lord of your earliest ancestors. Sadaqallah al May all peace and blessings be upon the Sultan of the Universes, Sayyidina Muhammad wasalam. He wasalam, said, Whoever sends salawat upon me 80 times on the Juma, he will have 80 years of sins forgiven. When the Sahabi Kiram asked what salawat to send, he wasalam, taught them to say, Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin abdika wa nabika wa rasulika an nabi al-ummi. Ya Allah, send salawat upon Muhammad wasalam, your servant, your prophet, your messenger, the unleaded prophet. May peace and blessings be upon him and upon his noble family and his blessed companions. He is saying about them, the most merciful from my ummah to my ummah is Abu Bakr. And the most serious of them concerning the commands of Allah is Umar. And the truest in modesty amongst them is Osman. And the best in judging is Ali. The masters of the youth of paradise are Hassan and Hussein. And the master of the women of paradise is Fatima. And Hamza is the lion of Allah and the lion of his prophet. Ya Allah, grant your forgiveness to Abbas and his children and outward and inward forgiveness and leave no mistake unforgiven. Allah, Allah. Fear Allah when it comes to my sahabis. Do not make them targets after me. Whoever loves them, he loves them because of his love for me. And whoever hates them, hates them because of his hatred towards me. And the best of my nation is my generation than those who follow them and those who follow them. The Sultan is a shadow of Allah on earth. Whoever honors the Sultan, Allah will honor him. And whoever hates the Sultan, Allah will hate him. And the Prophet of Allah speaks the truth. O believers, give shukur to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has given us life to live in the days and nights of Ramazan when the doors of the paradises are opened, when the angels are surrounding us with their wings, and when He subhanahu wa ta'ala is calling out to us. O believers, more than half of Ramazan has passed. And the El Vada is calling out to Mubarak Ramazan. We must wake up. O believers, in these days, we must run to Allah's mercy. His forgiveness 
and freedom from the fire, to leave this month with the anger of Allah upon us. Without forgiveness, it is the greatest loss. As Ghazul Azam, Shaykh Abdul Qadir Gelani Qadazla Sir is saying, what calamity could be worse than this terrible disaster? What a horrible sickness would it be to live through a month where the beginning is mercy, the middle is forgiveness, and the last part is freedom from the fire, and yet find yourself excluded from sharing in the peace sent by the angels of the Lord of the sinners and the righteous. Come to your senses, wake up from your sleep, shake off your gaflet, look at yourself sincerely. However little of Ramazan is left, you must run after every chance of tawbah and pardon. Take full advantage of the time that is left. Ask for forgiveness and become obedient. If you follow my advice, then you might still be able to catch the mercy and compassion of Allah. We are in an amazing month. And inside this month is a night that is unlike any other night. Inside this month is a night that contains the riza, the rahmat, and the maghfirah of our Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is describing the night of Laylatul Qadr in the Holy Quran, saying, Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim We have indeed revealed this message in the Laylatul Qadr. Ah, what will explain to you what the night of power is? The night of power is better than a thousand months. The angels and the spirit descend therein by the permission of their Lord with all decrees, peace, this until the rising of the dawn. Sadaqallah al-Azim. The ulama are mentioning that the sahabi kiram they were never so happy about anything as when they heard the revelation that Laylatul Qadr is better than 1,000 months. This is because once the Holy Prophet wasalam, was telling the sahabi kiram about four from the Bani Israel who served Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for 80 years without disobeying Him for even the blink of an eye. Those four are Hazrati Ayyub, Hazrati Zakaria, Hazrati Hizkir, Hizkil, and Hazrati Yusha ibn Nun. The Sahabis, they were amazed by these blessed people. And so Jibreel salam, came to the Holy Prophet wasalam, and said, Ya Muhammad wasalam, it seems to come as a great surprise to you and your Sahabis to learn that these people served Allah for 80 years without disobeying Him for even the twinkling of an eye. So now Allah has sent down to you something even better than that. And at that time, the revelation of Surat al-Qadr came and Hazrat Jibreel said, this is even more excellent than that which you and your Sahabis found so amazing. And in Laylatul Qadr, armies of angels come down to the earth to pray for the Ummati Muhammad. Hazrat ibn Abbas radiallahu anh said, as soon as Laylatul Qadr has arrived, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will order Jibreel salam, to go down to the earth along with a host of angels, 70,000 strong, from among the inhabitants of Sidratul Muntaha. They will carry with them banners of light. Once they land on earth, Jibreel salam, will set up his banner and the angels will set up their banners in four places meaning next to the Kaaba, next to the tomb of the Holy Prophet next to the Masjid of Baitul Maqdis, and next to the Masjid of Mount Sinai. Then Jibreel will tell the angels to spread in all directions, not a single house or a chamber or a tent or a boat or a ship where there is a believing man or woman will fail to receive a visit from the angels except a place that has a dog or a pig or intoxicating liquor or a person who is unclean or an idol. As the angels are going around, they will be glorifying Allah, praising His holiness and declaring that worship is for Allah alone 
as well as begging forgiveness for the Ummati Muhammad. They will continue doing this until the dawn comes, then they will ascend to the sky. The inhabitants of the lowest heaven will receive them as guests and ask, where did you come from? And the traveling angels will answer, we spent the night in the world below because it was the Laylatul Qadr for the Ummati Muhammad The inhabitants of the lower heaven will ask, how has Allah treated them? And what has He done to meet their needs? Jibreel will answer, Allah had forgiven the Salihin amongst them. And He has accepted the intercession of the Salihin on behalf of the unrighteous ones amongst them. When the inhabitants of the lower heavens hear this, they will raise their voices to glorify and sanctify Allah, to thank Him for forgiving and accepting the Ummat. Then the angels of the lowest heavens will take their guests to the second heaven. The traveling angels will go from one heaven to the next until they reach to the seventh paradise, at which point Jibreel will say, O inhabitants of the paradises, now you must return home. And the angels will go back to their own stations. Finally, the angels of Sidratul Muntaha will ask, Where have you been? And when the traveling angels answer, the angels of Sidratul Muntaha will glorify and sanctify Allah, and the sound of their voices will be heard in the garden of refuge, then the garden of happiness, then the garden of Ad, and then by Janatul Firdaus, and then by the Arsh of Al Rahman. The Arsh will then glorify and sanctify Allah to thank Him for giving to the Ummat. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, although He is all knowing, will ask, O my Arsh, why have you raised your voice? And the Arsh will say, Ya Ilahi, I have just received the good news that last night you granted forgiveness to the Salihin of the Ummati Muhammad and that you offered to accept their intercession on behalf of the unrighteous ones among the Ummat. And Allah Jalla will say, You have spoken the truth, O my Arsh. But it's even more than that. Ummati Muhammad is entitled in my sight to generous favor, the likes of which no eye has ever seen, no ear has ever heard, and no human heart has ever imagined. This Laylatul Qadr is a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the Holy Prophet. It is a gift to the Prophet who was calling out from his birth to his passing and calling out on Judgment Day, Ummati, Ummati. Because the Holy Prophet ﷺ was always worrying about us. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to him, Ya Muhammad ﷺ, do not worry because I will not remove the members of your Ummat from the dunya until I have blessed on them the levels of the Prophets. For the prophets, the angels came down to each of them in turn, bringing the ruh, the spirit, the risala, the message, the wahi, the inspiration, and karamat. Likewise, I will send the angels down to your ummat on Laylatul Qadr with taslim and rahmat from me. How much more do we need to hear? to thank and to glorify our Lord and to, and to thank and to praise the Holy Prophet ﷺ. What is it that we have done as people, as Muslims, as believers, as murids? What is it that we have done in our whole lives that is going to merit this kind of blessing and treatment from our Lord? Are we still so asleep and so in gaflat that we don't understand that everything is working because of the blessings of those ones that are beloved to Allah, that are praying on our behalf? Our Shaykh Sahib al-Sayf, Shaykh Abdul Karim al-Kibrizi al-Rabbani Qadr is saying, Laylatul Qadr is inside the month of Ramadan, it's hidden in that. It may be the first day or it may be the last day, any day. Holy Prophet ﷺ is saying, anyone who goes to Isha prayer and prays Isha with the Jama'at and stays with that Jama'at, 
meaning he prays taraway with that jamaat too, they are considered to have reached the night of Qadr. If they go the whole month, the 30 days, it will be enough for them to be written in that book that they have reached it and they have showed proper respect to that month. Think on it now. Did I do it? No, I am busy. During this month, I am very busy, very busy. In this month, everyone becomes very busy. Shah is saying, come, come to the prayer, come to Tarawi, come to Iftar, come. No, one to this side, one to that side. That is showing proper respect to this month. If that is your understanding, then sit and wait. What is coming ahead then? These are the words that no one can change. These are the words of the Holy Prophet ﷺ. Oh believer, what a blessing to us that we are in a jamaat established by our Shaykh, where we are being surrounded by the traditions of Ramazan. The traditions that are practiced for 1400 years we cannot lose the value of this blessing. We should intend to spend our nights here together, running to catch Laylatul Qadr together. As a Jamaat, as Allah is ordering and obeying Allah's command when He says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, and race with each other for forgiveness from your Lord. Sadaqallah Lazim. We should all be together running in the way of Allah so that we can be together in this Jamaat under our Shaykh so that we can be together in the Ahirat. The one who is in separation, that one is in sorrow. Mevlana Jalaluddin Rumi Qadazullah Sir is making a special dua for Ramazan saying, Ya Rabbi, my soul is humbly begging for your forgiveness. Ya Rabbi, Forgive me. You are the one who forgives all sinful believers. Ya Rabbi, accept my sincere repentance in this holy month of fasting. Ya Rabbi, you are the only one who is perfect and without fault. Ya Rabbi, forgive me. Forgive me, Ya Rabbi, because I have sinned. And then he says, I am fasting and feel my Lord smiling upon me and saying, I am reaching out and grabbing your hand during this holy month, since you are fasting. I know how unsettled and confused you feel all the time about yourself. I know. Remember, I am your Lord, your Allah. I am the doctor who prescribed fasting for you in the holy month, because I know how much you're suffering by your own fears, uncertainty, and doubts. Amen. The awliya and the salihin for 1400 years, they have known the holiness of Ramazan and they've shown it the highest honor. The pious ones who came before us understood that Ramazan is a time to connect to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They understood that it is Shahrul Quran when the revelation came down to the Holy Prophet During Ramazan, Imam Al-Azam, Abu Hanifa and also Imam Shafi'i they used to make khatim of Qur'an 60 times. They used to spend the whole month finding ways and excuses to help the poor people and to give charity. They would spend the days and nights of Ramazan in zikr of Allah. And these traditions were continued and made more beautiful in the times of the glorious Ottomans. The Ottoman sultans and their subjects made Ramazan a time for showing Honor and respect to the messenger Sayyidina Muhammad On the 15th night of Ramazan, the Sultan would go to the Khirka Sharif Masjid and make ziyarat of the Holy Prophet's cloak and his beard hair and other tabarukat. During Ramazan, when the people would go to the baker, they would buy an extra bag of bread and hang it outside the bakery for anyone in need to take. The rich ones would go store to store to wipe out the debt of anyone who was in need. The Sultan's palace was open throughout Ramazan and anyone could come inside to eat a meal. 
The Ottomans made the children to fall in love with Ramazan by telling stories of the prophets and the saints all night long, by hanging the Mahya lights between the minarets, and by giving the children who fasted the first time presents. The Ottomans made Ramazan the most beloved time of year for everyone, and by doing so and showing so much honor to Ramazan, they themselves become beloved to their Lord. That should be our intention and our action during Ramazan. Maybe it is difficult to find so many poor people to help. Maybe it is difficult to be reciting the Quran 24 hours or to make the zikr all night long. But this is the month of charity. If anything, that the believers are doing, they must show a smile. They must show their time. They must show their care. They must show their charity to each other, to the Jamaat, to build better love and better compassion and better mercy to each other in this holy month because Allah is sending it to us. So we must show it to each other. We must show to each other forgiveness. We must show to each other compassion. And we must show to each other freedom from each other's anger and the fire. Allah is ordering us to be jami, to be a jamaat. For those who are separating themselves, may Allah Grant them all mercy to understand that only Allah is alone. May Allah keep us in the Jamaat of the Prophets and of the Saints. And if you are not in the Jamaat of the Righteous, big possibility you're going to be separated from those Mubarak Jamaats. Physically, maybe you cannot make it. But the heart, the heart is always clear and the heart is always open. And with the sincerity of the heart, everyone will know. But if the body and the heart, they are not present, then you are losing from this month. We are losing. We are asking that Allah be pleased with us in this month. We're asking that Ramazan be pleased with us in this month. We must get better every year. We should not get worse every year. Look to yourselves from last Ramazan to this Ramazan. Look to yourself and sit and ask. You don't need anyone to tell you. Have I gotten better? Or have I gotten worse? Have I gotten better? Am I worshipping more? Am I running for Ahirat more? Am I doing the Zikr more? Am I being with the Jamaat more? Am I listening and putting the Sohbat more? Or am I running for Dunya more? That what the Dunya gives is just tiredness and exhaustion. You don't have to need to have anyone to tell you. You will know by yourself. We must get better every year. In this way, this is the way of the Sahabi Kiram. This is the way of the Prophets. In this way, we should hold on tightly because our egos are attacking us more heavily in this month and we should not be giving in to them or else we're going to lose. Inshallah Rahman, may Allah be pleased with all those ones who are honoring this month. And may Allah give more hidayat to all those ones that their hearts are sealed. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us more opening and more mercy to each other, and more understanding. May Allah take away arrogance and stubbornness from us. May Allah take away misunderstanding from us. May Allah take away envy and pride away from us, especially in this month. We are asking for Allah's pleasure. 
We're asking for our Holy Prophet's pleasure. We're asking for our Shaykh's pleasure. The Prophet والسلام, is the one who distributes Allah's pleasure. And the Shaykh is the Prophet to the Ummat as the Prophet is the Prophet to his Ummat. He is like that, as the Prophet is saying. We're asking our Shaykh, inshallah, to grant us more mercy and to grant us more blessings in this month, to wake us up so that we live these last months, last days of Ramadan with honor and to leave this month with honor and with the mercy, forgiveness and the freedom of the fire. Amin. Astaghfirullah. 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 لا إله إلا الله الحي الكريم وانتظر الله لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك الحمد كل شيء كبير لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك الحمد كل شيء كبير لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك الحمد كل شيء كبير لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك أنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك أنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك أنت من الظالمين سبحان كدوس رب العرب الملائكة وارو سبحان كدوس رب العرب الملائكة وارو سبحان كدوس رب العرب الملائكة إن دين الله الإسلام قام صلاة Fill up the roles, tighten the lines.